South Beirut, where the work hasn't stopped since the Israeli offensive. For nearly three years, buildings have been rising from the rubble. This poor part of town, a bastion of support for the Shiite militia Hezbollah, has been transformed. Behind the boom, Wad, a construction company with close links to Hezbollah. It is rebuilding 282 structures that were razed to the ground. All the buildings you see here have been rebuilt according to the latest earthquake safety norms. They can withstand a 7.0 quake on the Richter scale. They're all environmentally friendly with double thick walls to save energy, and that contributes to having a cleaner environment. The construction project runs for another 18 months. Its total cost, $400 million. The problem is that the state only budgeted for $200 million. Estimates for construction were based on the value of the real estate destroyed, humble buildings compared with their more modern replacements. In this office, where residents come to seek state help for war damages, many say government aid falls far short of the actual reconstruction costs. I swear the state should have to pay more. The money they've given is barely enough to put up two walls. Hezbollah has stepped in to fill the gap between government handouts and the owners' pockets. It prefers not to say where the money comes from, though observers have long suspected it is financed by Iran. Occupants of new homes don't much care. It's yet another reason to support the group and its leader, Hassan Nasrallah. The Wad builders called us up and promised to rebuild our apartment block as soon as possible. They told us not to worry. They took care of everything. Thank God, Hassan Nasrallah kept his promises. Just like he said he would, he gave us back our houses better than before. Israel hoped the war would turn Lebanon's Shiites against Hezbollah, but it has proven quite the opposite. Rebuilding is an investment that returns political dividends in spades.